so hello everyone today we'll be discussing uh, some of the problems from set math so we'll be doing system of equation so i'm going to give, give you some few tricks about this topic okay let's get started so first of all let us start by uh, knowing what is actually mean to be the solution of system of equations okay solution mean actually uh, that thing which is actually the point of intersection between two lines okay this point is called the solution or you can also say if there are given any curves like this and a line curves it like this at two points these two points are the point of solution so you have to know that so now for now uh, let us take uh, some standard form of lines so we have let's say standard standard form of lines let's say we have two lines and you can represent it by this equation let's say a1 x plus b1 y plus c1 equal to 0 be the first line and a2 x plus b2 y plus c2 equal to 0 be another line now now what we have to uh, do is that we have to find out different condition under which under which we get the solutions okay so let's go to number one if this coefficient you can see here a1 b1 c1 and a2 b2 c2 over two lines we have to check the ratios okay if the ratio a1 over a2 is not equals to b1 over b2 then these two lines have only one solution that means these two lines will have only one point of intersection this point okay go to number two if a1 over a2 is equals to b1 over b2 is not equals to c1 over c2 then we have no solution condition this means that two lines are parallel there will be no solution there is no point of intersection and number three if a1 over a2 is equals to b1 over b2 is equal to c1 over c2 that means the both the equation of line are actually similar same in this condition we have <coughs> infinitely many solution so if you show in the diagram this means this line uh, you can see only one line but there are actually two lines overlapped each other so they have infinitely many solution so two lines are overlapped over each other okay now let me do some of the example for this okay very simple example we'll be doing from college band okay let's see now let's get started so look at here so a system of two equations and their graph in the xy plane are shown in above how many solution does the system have you can see here is uh, one equation that is uh, parabola and there is another line so you can see there are actually no point of intersection between the parabola and the line so the system has zero solution there is no point of intersection so zero solution okay now let's go to number seven in this type of problem you can uh, plug the value and check the answer okay if i plug the a um, if I check, so if I plug 2, this will be 10 and this will be uh, 8 plus 2. Okay, that's valid. If I plug it in second equation, uh, 2 minus 2 minus 4. Okay, and this is 3, 8, 24 minus 3. Okay, this is not answer. So if I plug it B and check, okay, minus minus, okay, 5, that is also 5 true. If I plug this uh, 3 here, 2, 3, okay, sorry, 2 minus 1, this is 2, 2 into minus 1, minus 1, equal to 3, minus 3 into 3. So, 2 to 4, uh, okay, this is minus 4, minus 2, equals to 3, minus 9, this is minus 6, equals to minus 6, okay, B is your answer. So, in, in this type of problem, you have to just plug and check, okay. Let's go to number 8, okay number eight is here how many solution are there to the system of equation we have to find out how many solution so what we have to do we have to do is uh, check the coefficient like i explained before so let's do it so you can check like this a1 over a2 and you can check out b1 over b2 so here is a1 is 2 and a2 is 1 and b1 is minus 4 and uh, b2 is so this is 2 and this is what minus 
to they are not equal okay if they are not equal we have already told that a1 by a2 is not equals to b1 over b2 so what we say that in this condition we have only one solution so answer is b only one solution now let's go to number nine let's see what is uh, nine is telling us is that in the system of equation a we are constantly system have infinitely many solution what is the value of a for system to have infinitely many solution we have uh, already done that a1 over a2 equals to b1 over b2 equals to c1 over c2 so a1 is 2 uh, and a2 is b equals to this is minus 5 b1 is and b2 is plus 10 this will be equal to c1 by c2 okay c1 by c2 c1 is minus a if i take it that side and minus 8 if you take that will be plus 8 okay this is what we get now what we have to do we have to find a so we have to uh, equate this to okay so minus a by 8 is equals to minus 5 by 10 so this implies minus minus will be plus so a will be 5 at 40 by 10 so a value will be 4 so our answer is c 4 okay now let's go to number 10 if the system equation above uh, a is a constant if the system has one solution which of the following cannot be value of a so what we say there is only one solution what is condition a1 over a2 is not equals to b1 over b2 so we have a1 is a by a2 is 3 is not equals to what is b1 b1 is 2 over what is b2 is minus 6 so if i uh, take 3 to other sides is not equal to 2 into 3 over minus 6 so a is not equal to 6 over minus 6 that means a is not equals to minus 1 so this is our 10 number question so answer a is correct okay now let's go to another okay okay to find the solution number you can just plug and check okay 11 i'm not going to do that okay let's go to 12 12 you also you can check it out okay let's do this one okay number 13 in the system of equation above a is a constant if the system has no solution what is the value of a for the system to have to no solution uh, the two lines will be parallel and what you say that in that condition we have a1 over a2 is equals to b1 over b2 is not equals to c1 over c2 so we have to use this condition to find the value of a so let's do what is a1 here a1 is 1 by 3 and a2 is 6 is equal to what is b1 minus 1 by 6 and what is b2 is minus a okay now see if we uh, reverse this this will becomes 1 over 3 into 6 equals to minus minus will be plus 1 by 6 into a therefore 6a will be 6 3 18 okay 6 into 3 is 18 so a will be 3 simply answer is c a equals to 3 now let's go to another okay number 14 how many solutions are there to the system of equation above okay uh, you can have many methods okay i also show another method okay if you take a three common you get x minus 2y equals to 15 right and if you take three to another side you will get uh, x minus 2y equals to 5 and if you take minus common here okay then you will get like um okay x okay okay let's not do this um we will stick to our uh, main method okay very easy one so what will uh what will what we said was we have to check out the ratios right we have to check a1 by a2 we have to check b1 over b2 and c1 over c2 so what is a1 over a2 uh, 3 over minus 2 yeah what is uh b1 by b2 minus 6 over 4 what is c1 over c2 that is if i take this side minus 15 over 10 right 
right if i take this uh, 15 to next side this is minus 15 10 will plus 10 okay so this is minus 3 by 2 this is minus 3 by 2 this is minus 3 by 2 so all are equal that means a1 over a2 equal to b1 over b2 equal to c1 over c2 that means the line has infinitely many solution that means more than 2 is your answer okay now let's uh, move toward the 15 in the system of equation above m and r uh, constants if uh, the system has infinitely many solution what is the value of m by m so if the system have uh, infinitely many solution what we said a1 over a2 equals to b1 over b2 equals to c1 over c2 so what is a1 m what is a2 2 what is b1 minus 6 over minus n is equals to minus 10 over minus 5 okay then what we have to find out uh, let's say um, over 5 m by m so let's find the value of m and n okay so if i equal these two ratios we get m will be equal to 2 10 20 over 5 okay minus minus will be plus so 5 4 20 right and if i take this two ratio this will be 6 over n is equal to 10 over 5 equals to this is 2 therefore n will be 6 over 2 equals to 3 therefore m over n is equals to 4 over 3 okay so our answer is 4 over 3 is c is your correct answer so today we'll uh, do this much of our problems so thank you for watching please uh, if you have any problems or inquiries you can uh, comment below if you are new to this channel please like share and subscribe i will post a more uh, video like this for sat preparation and i'll also post other materials so thank you for watching guys please subscribe quantum ideas see you soon guys bye bye